In this session, we are discussing a very important graph theory algorithm that is our Bell-Manford algorithm. Bell-Manford algorithm finds the shortest distance from a source vertex to all other vertices. That means, Bell-Manford algorithm requires one source vertex as input and then it will find out all possible or all shortest paths to all other vertices. In our Dijkstra's algorithm, which we discussed in other video, we had all pair shortest path. And in case of Dijkstra's algorithm, we had the directed graph, but the, also the directed graphs were, were weighted, but there all the weightage values were positive. But Bell-Manford algorithm can have negative weight value also for certain edges. So, Bell-Manford algorithm can handle with the negative weights. So, now let us come for the algorithm at first. So, th this particular Bell-Manford algorithm is falling under the dynamic programming algorithm categories. Okay. Given a graph and a source vertex SRC in graph, find shortest paths from SRC to all other vertices in the given graph. So, whatever we have discussed earlier, it has been written there. The graph may contain negative weight edges. The complexity of this algorithm is of the order of V e. V is the number of vertices, e is the number of edges, which is more than the Dijkstra's algorithm and the Dijkstra's algorithm is having the complexity of the order of V log of V with the use of Fibonacci heap. That means, this Bell-Manford algorithm is having the complexity higher than compared to that of the Dijkstra's algorithm. Bell-Manford algorithm can handle negative weight edges. So, now this is the algorithm. What input will be given to us? Input the graph with the source vertex is SRC. So, that is the source vertex will be given. Obviously, the graph will be given to us. What will be the output? The shortest distance to all vertices from SRC. If there is a negative weight cycle, then the shortest distances are not calculated negative weight cycle is reported. That means, this particular algorithm will give you the shortest distances from the source vertex to all other vertices accurately. But, if there is some negative edges are negative weight edges are there in that case it will report that this graph is having some negative weight cycles. So, this is the output. Now, let me go for the steps. Here we have divided this algorithm into three steps. Step number one, this step initializes distance from source to all other vertices as infinite and distance to source itself is zero. So, here they are defining one one dimensional array known as the dist and it is having the size of v, v means the number of vertices. So, that is the size v will keep these values. So, that particular V array will be initialized with 0 at the source vertex and infinity with all other remaining vertices. So, that is the end of our step 1. We are going to discuss step 2. This step calculates the shortest distances. Do the following for number of V minus 1 times. If a graph is having say 6 nodes, then this particular steps will be repeated for 6 minus 1 for 5 times. So, number of vertices minus 1 times. Do the following for each edge u v. So, let us suppose u is the one vertex and v is the another vertex from u to v that is one edge. So, do the following for each edge u v. If d of v is greater than d of u plus weight of u v, then d of v will be updated with d of u plus weight of u v. So, now if the if the certain vertex v and this particular vertex is the is the at the head not at the tail because it is a directed edge. So, now d of v is if it is greater than this particular calculated value then that particular d of v will be updated with the smaller one. Okay. So, this particular step is to be repeated for number of vertices minus 1 number of times. So, that is my step 3. This step reports if there is a negative weight cycle in the graph. Do the following for each edge 
of u v that means for each edge I, I shall have to do if dist of v is greater than dist of u plus weight of weight of the edge u v then graph contains negative weight cycle. So, here it is not doing anything it is just reporting that the graph is having negative weight cycle and if this condition is true we shall explain line by line through one example. So, up to step 2 it is guaranteed that if there is no negative weight cycle then we, are, we have got the shortest path from the source node to the all other vertices. But if in the step 3 it is telling that if there is some negative weight cycles are there in that case using that particular cycle for multiple number of times we can go for the uh, shorter uh, path lengths between the source and the other vertices. So, it is just reporting that one that this graph is having negative weight cycles. Thus, we have explained this particular algorithm. Now, in the next video, we shall explain this algorithm with one proper example. So, please watch the next video because that video will be in the continuation of this one. And thanks for watching this one.